everyone, it's Joe from Loudwire. Sitting next to me is Riley and Greg from Allegiant. Thanks so much for coming in today. Hey, man. Thanks for having us. Oh, yeah. And we've got the new album, Apoptosis, coming out. This is my favorite album from you guys. I feel like Apoptosis is kind of um, representative of Allegiant itself. Um, the meaning of the word just kind of to sell death. And this is a little bit of a musical rebirth, I feel, for you guys. Uh, yeah, definitely. I feel like going into it, when I was writing a lot of the lyrics and stuff, and I was trying to mull over, you know, what kind of theme to go for with this record, um, there was definitely like a, that whole death needing leading to new and better life kind of thing. You know, we had just gone through another lineup change, bringing in uh, Brandon Michael, or as we call him, Boo Boo Money, into the uh, into Boo -boo the fold. Muffin. Boo Boo Muffin. Shout out. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so not only could it be applied, you know, how it is with the theme of the record lyrically, which is like, you know, you have your scientific examples of it. And then you have like that idea of death leading to new life being, you know, thrown into like the, you know, greater, more metaphorical ideologies of like religion and philosophy and just social behavior. But it's also really a metaphor for where we are as a band and, and what it took for us to get here. So a lot of this kind of deals with, I was, I had to Google the definition of a lot of words when I looked up the <laughs> when I was going through the lyric sheet. Um, but a lot of it kind of seems to be with like astral forces threatening to wipe out humanity. So w what do you feel kind of like the biggest threats humanity faces from, uh, from the cosmos? Illegal downloading. That's right. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I don't, I feel like, you know, I mean, th there's one song that is definitely like focused in like space, but it's about, black holes sucking in astral bodies and then like spitting them out on the other side. You ready to, so the, I'm, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. So there's a, uh, teach the kids science. So, please. so there is a, uh, when, when a planet or a star or anything gets pulled into a black hole, it basically like stretches it out as it's getting pulled into it. And the honest to God scientific term that scientists, the astronomers invented for this is called spaghettification. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> so, you know, that song is mostly about spaghettification uh, of, of, of stars being pulled into black holes and spat on the other side. Um, Do you worship the flying spaghetti monster? Don't talk to me about my religious preferences. <laughs> of course I worship the flying spaghetti monster. <laughs> you mentioned the secular age, and which kind of talks about like the age of information. And it seems like the more information we have, kind of the more dumbed down everything gets. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw this awesome meme. You, you know how I feel about memes. I'm I not a meme either. guy, but it was actually really good. It was like science in the 90s, like new inventions and all this. And now it's 2019. Science in 2019. Guys. The Earth is round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we swear the Earth isn't flat. <laughs> like, how how are we how coming we back here? to this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, final verdict: Internet, good or bad? Oh, great! The Internet's like the best thing that's happened to humanity in the past like couple hundred years. But with every immense good comes the potential for immense bad, and I think that the Internet has also definitely created a, you know, real armpit of of human interaction uh but i think that the things that the internet has brought us as far as like communication and, and research capabilities and you know bringing people together on like a global level is amazing i mean we we live all over the country like i live in southern california he lives in denver our drummer lives in illinois like without internet capabilities we probably wouldn't be a band <laughs> so it's you know definitely more good than bad but the bad is like oh it's pretty bad real bad yeah. Yeah, the armpit's always been there. It's just now everybody can smell it. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Very well put. <laughs> and on that note, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> See ya.